मध्ये आज एउटा प्रस्तुत गर्न पाएकोमा हामी धन्य महसुस गर्दछौँ जसको शीर्षक छ परम गुरु चिङ्गाएको डायरी जीवित सद्गुरुहरूले सबै मोचनीय आत्माहरूलाई मुक्ति दिन सक्नुहुन्छ चार भागको पहिलो भाग गुरु र शिष्यहरू बीच कार्यक्रममा जुन चिनिया र अङ्ग्रेजी भाषामा दिइएको थियो मे पाँच दुई हजार उन्नाइस ताइवानमा जसलाई फर्मसा पनि भनिन्छ大家好吗？Everyone，OK？我今天要念一些我的日记啊，给你们听，有关。有一点有关昨天那个问题，啊，不过啊，不是百分的啊，it's not Okay, put your ears on, it's English, because <laughs> I wrote in English. I don't want to translate into Chinese or uh, Spanish or German or Hungarian or Chilean or Mongolian or Korean or whatever. We have talent, yeah? We have translators who are excellent in uh, spontaneous oral translation. I really feel very proud of them. It's very difficult to translate like that, hmm? spontaneously. I'm trying to, to, to talk slowly so that I can catch up, but sometimes I get excited like you, and then I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Whatever you missed, you can look on SFTV later, huh? Maybe they will translate it all many languages for you. At least some of the main language, huh? Or sometimes we have uh, Zulu language or <laughs> some uh, Hopi language or, or so many tribes, so many languages in the world. We cannot afford all of them on the screen. Now, I'm going to read it for you. All this information came from when I meditate, okay? Yes. By the way, I have to go on retreat after today. Yeah, supposed to be one month and three days, but I probably can shorten it. Just I don't know how. I don't have time. You take up all my time. My dogs take up my time. You take up my time. <laughs> Bad disciple take up my time. A good disciple take up my time. Uh, in between disciple take my time. Uh, attendance uh, for dogs take my time. Uh, I take my own time. <laughs> because sometimes I need to wash, I need to eat, I need to take care of some group of people, etc., etc. Like, you know, in the world we have different duties, yeah? And as long as I'm in the world, I have to take care of worldly duty and it takes. So much time, yeah? I could tell you more, but I don't have enough time to check inside, okay? Yes. Uh, the mind cannot contain all the informations from the higher levels, yeah? So I have to check it <laughs> with the soul, yeah? And then translate it into the mind, and then make the mind assimilate it, and then translate it into the languages that you could understand. So it's kind of filtering, filtering down, huh? Yeah, and sometimes I am sick. I'm not sick, I'm healthy, just sometimes uh, the karma of the world, not just yours, okay? And then it uh, make me headache or heart problem, stomach problem, etc., etc., yeah? 
Uh, so <laughs> everything takes up some time. Huh? And then so, so, and so, you know, you know the rest, okay, huh? This is not 100% of the information, uh, but uh, some percentage of it. I will continue to do more research, okay? I tell you before I forget, okay? Because it's not written in here. Some, some are not written. Sometimes I write half and then I had to leave because time. For what, what, what? In this world, we have a clock, you know? Time, I have to do what, what, what? You know, this physical stuff. So sometimes I don't write everything here. Or sometimes I can't write at all. I have no time. Recently, I have it all empty. Yeah? Many times I cannot write much, yeah? Okay, so now this information is not 100%, okay? I tell you before I forget something. Because the information I'm going to give you, it will give rise to another question. And I tell you now before I forget, because it's not written in here. For example, why Shakyamuni Buddha has to refer to Amitabha Buddha in order to save one of his followers in jail. The queen was in jail because her son make evolution or something, and then etc., etc. Yeah, that's a long story. And she was in jail and she was praying to uh, Shakyamuni Buddha to save her, to help her, and then he appeared, you know, not like, uh, not physical, yeah, a light body. Yes. Just like yesterday, some of your sisters say, I was behind her on the bus or next to the bus. I wasn't there. It was just light transformation, uh, transcendental or light body, okay? Remind me, Amitabha Buddha, before I forget, <laughs> because the calendar goes on. Amitabha, remember that? Remember, tell me if I forget, because I'm on another subject now, which is related, because you see, one thing a little to another, and I go on forever. <laughs> Even it seems very long to you, but the information they give you is just this much, compared to what I have. Now, what I can access and what I know. Like the transformation body, sometimes you see Master in your living room or in your bedroom or on the street, you know, giving you a sample booklet. It wasn't me. I'm not going out giving anything anywhere, anytime. <laughs> it's not my job, <laughs> okay? I don't have time to go out and give sample booklet or direct you to where you want it to go. It was a transformation body. It was a light body. Uh, master has many bodies can manifest body anywhere, when necessary. But it's not necessarily that you can see. Some can see, some cannot. Okay? That's all. But doesn't mean Master is not there. Now, uh, Sekamoni Buddha, of course, he has tens of hundreds of thousands of manifestation body, or light body, or transcendental body, meaning that body doesn't need to be in one place. It can go anywhere transcend the time, space, and all obstacles, yeah. So he used one of his transcendental body to manifest himself in jail, to talk to the poor queen. And it's a transcendental body. He didn't give the initiation there, of course not. Huh? That needs some physical instrument, okay? So he tell the queen to recite uh, Amitabha Buddha's name, yes. Amitabha Buddha is ancient Buddha, ascended Buddha already. So therefore, it's a different dimension. Her soul can access it, yes. But in this physical dimension, it is needed a physical instrument, okay? Otherwise, the Buddhas or the saints or... You know, Master would just stay in heaven and just <laughs> transmit uh, information. Need a Master, physical one, to open the eye, to open a true hearing organ so you can hear the celestial uh, vibration, you know, you can receive it. Not actually hear, because we don't use the ear. It's just in this physical world we have to say that 
we hear the inner inside sound. We see the inner light, but actually we don't see because the eyes are shut. You just use the inside eye, the true eye, and we when we so called hear the inner sound, we use the true ear, and the master can open that. A master in the physical body and use another physical body even can do, but must have an, a physical body. So the Buddha has to manifest himself with his transcendental body to go into jail because he cannot go in physically, even if he wanted to. Yeah, the queen is not allowed to see anyone, least of all the Buddha. Yeah, the, the prince did not want that. Yes, didn't want her to have any comfort of any kind, physically, mentally, or emotionally, or spiritually. It was a very bad son. Some form of enemy or some bad affinity. It's not necessary the prince fought. It just had to happen that way. Uh, for example, one time the one of the king, he wanted a son so much, yes, and uh, one of the yogi was alive, uh, promised to be his son, yes, but the king forced him to die quick so that he can have the son quickly. And the yogi told him, if you force me like this, I'm going to be your enemy. If you force me to die before my time, I'm going to be your enemy, and etc., etc. Many other things happened. Very bad for the king, but he did not listen. The king did not listen. Therefore, the prince, after he's born, grown up, turned out to be the king's Enemy, okay, huh? Yeah, for example, like that. So now, maybe it's the same story. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to point out to you that everything should be in a natural process and not being forced to happen. Yeah. Otherwise, things will turn out not as we wish, but maybe the opposite result will come out. So the Buddha manifested himself into the jail and talked to the, the queen, telling her that in this situation she should be patient and be more inward, more spiritually inclined. Don't worry about the outer situation because it doesn't help. And whatever happened to you in this physical life, even if it's painful, sorrow, or happiness, or wellness, it's transient, temporarily only. So not to worry about it, be calm, have peace, be forgiving, and concentrate on now, of the instruction that the Buddha tell her that she should practice all the time. And take the time that she's in jail, that she has no responsibility, and nothing can harm anymore, yes. So she takes the time to practice the Amitabha method. So the Buddha has told her how to recite the Amitabha Buddha's name and how to imagine the Amitabha Buddha's land, how beautiful, etc., etc. Every day she has to imagine that in her mind and recite in his name continuously without any interruption without any other thought as much as she can until she has only that name and all these beautiful uh, Amitabha Buddha's land in her mind, nothing else. Yes. Then even if she dies, she goes straight to Amitabha Buddha's land and nothing can happen to her. Yes. All right, so the Buddha say this and that. Now you understand why the Buddha did not tell her because she wasn't initiated, and this is a transformation body only, yes? Number one. Number two, Shakyamuni has not much affinity with her in the past. He has seen that she has affinity remotely, far, far, <laughs> in the cowboys of time that you could not even name, you couldn't even count. She was having some good affinity with Amitabha Buddha when he was physically in some planet, not necessarily on this planet, other planet. Otherwise, the Buddha would have 
told her, uh, maybe recite Kuan Yin Bodhisattva name, uh, maybe recite the medicine Buddha's name. There are many other Buddhas who could help sentient beings as well. Yes, but through the transmission of the physical Buddha, is more efficient. Yeah. So even if, for example, if the master told somebody to recite the Buddha's name, then the master has charged that Buddha's name with his or her power. Therefore, when the person recited, it's different than when he just read in the book and happened to know Amitabha Buddha name and recite it. When a master is in the world, he doesn't just liberate the disciples, he liberates the whole world during his lifetime. Well, with some exception, I will tell you which one cannot be liberated. Okay? Now, so when the Buddha was alive, all the angels, the divas, the divine uh, beings come down all the time. Uh, his disciples, some of them see them, some of them not. Some of them see them, they wrote it. You see, like Ananda, he wrote the account of uh, the disciples that say that who and who has come down to listen to the Buddha lecture or to visit the Buddha, etc., etc. Some disciples saw it, not physically, okay? And then, of course, they told it in the assembly, and Ananda wrote it down. Ananda wrote it down, so now we know during Buddha's time, which divas, which uh, uh, celestial beings can visit him or listen to what lecture or saying what, 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 uh, offering what, what, what to the Buddha, okay? But in the normal eyes of normal people, nobody saw nothing. You can sit next to the Buddha and you like deaf, blind, see nothing, hear nothing. <laughs> Some high level disciples see it or sometimes blessed with the Buddha power, then can see it. Yeah, like some child at home, and your children, your child see master come, you see nothing. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations <laughs> for your blindness. The children, sometimes they're so innocent, pure, they can see the master come to the house, or do what, or bless you, something, and they tell you the initiates, some of them. Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, you know that. So some pure-hearted people are high level, practitioner can see some things that we don't see. When all these divas and divine beings came down to this world and see the Buddha, uh, made uh, obeisance to him, or pay respect to him, and they all praised the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha at that time, in our world. Yeah? Many other Buddhas go to different planet and rescue other beings in different world. Yes, But in this world, Physically, we knew only Shakyamuni Buddha has been recorded, yes. But of course, all the masters are also Buddha, like Guru Nanak was also a Buddha, okay? Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also a Buddha. It's just different, different names, okay? Different names. Jesus Christ was a Buddha. Uh, Buddha means enlightened beings, enlightened master, okay, huh? and can also teach others, yes, or not, want to or not. <laughs> Some Buddha don't teach disciples. Some teach very few. Some teach a lot, okay? So Shikamuni Buddha happened to have many disciples, and one of them was super intelligent intellectually and uh, in memory. Therefore, he can remember and record it. Or maybe at that time, they also have this shorthand technique so they can write it quick. Yeah. Or whatever he remember, he come and write it. Some people still do it nowadays, you know? They don't write it immediately, but they remember everything. And then when they came home, they wrote it down. When all the divas come down, the divine beings from different heavens, they come down, they always praise the Buddha, and put flower on him, you know, invisible. Sometimes it manifests into visible flowers, but mostly invisible. And they all praise him that, wow, he's superior in, in all the ten directions, because he can teach the hard-headed <laughs> human beings and rescue numerous of beings 
from suffering, uh, from hell, uh, from the cycle of transmigration, yeah, from life and death, and teach the thing that is uh, difficult to teach, difficult to understand. But he could teach, he could make sentient beings understand. So many divas and, and heavenly beings always come down and listen to his lecture because he's benefit them. And that's why they call him a teacher of heavens and earth. So he teach also the heavens beings so that they can elevate their status or they can retain their status. Uh, or at least they don't have to come back down to the physical world, reincarnate again as human or animals or whatever karma awaited them after they finished their uh, good karma. As divas or as heavenly beings, they have to come down again in different path of life. And it's very bad for them sometimes. They come to the wrong path. That's why sometimes you see some animals they're super intelligent because they retain some of their power. <laughs>